Hi, in this video I'll be showing you how to download ClickSat 3.0 for Windows and how to use it to run models on the Osmosis Cloud. ClickSat 3.0 has a new button that allows you to create a TXT file which runs much quicker on the Osmosis Cloud. Just so you know, this video will show you how to run models online using the ClickSat 3.0. However, if you would like to run models offline, you will also need to download other necessary software that were used in the previous versions of ClickSand. To see what necessary software you need to download and how this can be downloaded, please follow the instructions on the video mentioned in the description section of this video. So to begin with, what we're going to do is download ClickSand. This page over here, the Zenodo repository, the link to this can also be found on the comment section. So first of all, we need to download ClickSand Installer. We'll click on Download over here. Once the installer has been downloaded, we click on it. Such a window will appear. We click on more info and run anyway. We select yes. I agree. Install. We look at the details to see that it's been installed correctly and we click on close. Now, this file can be found on the program files section. So it's been saved as ClickSand. Over here, we can see 0905. Let's open it and let's open the ClickSand. We can see over here now that there is a new button that says Generate Osmosis Cloud Input. This is the button that you use in order to generate cloud input that can be used for running the models on Osmosis Cloud. Now, before showing you how this can be done, there is something else that we need to download. If we go back onto this page, we will see that there is also a file called conversion.exe. We need this in order to be able to visualize results offline. So on Osmosis Cloud, you can visualize the results of your model online. However, to visualize them offline, we need to download this converter. So let's download it. Once this has been downloaded, we open it, more info, run anyway. And we're going, going to get a small window like this. So this is what you will use in order to convert your results from Osmosis Cloud in order to be able to visualize these results offline. Now we have all the necessary software. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you on the example of hands-on 8 with 8 time slices how this can be done. So how you can use the new ClickSand in order to generate a TXT file to run on Osmosis Cloud. So what I'm going to do is, is firstly I'm going to download this hands-on file. 
it can be found on this link and this link is also going to be used to download the osmosis code necessary to run on um, osmosis cloud once the file has downloaded it will try to open the file we don't want to open it just yet so what I'm going to do is save it in an alternative location so the file has been downloaded to downloads I come over here I copy the file and I save it in a preferred location right now I have my file ready what I want to do now is generate the file necessary to run this on Osmosis Cloud. So what I do is I come over here, on the click sand, I select the file that I want to generate. So that's the one that I've just downloaded. And I click on open. Now what I need to do next is simply click on generate Osmosis Cloud input. After some time, we'll see that it will say that generated Osmosis Cloud input data. Now, if we look at this folder, we'll see a new file over here. It's a TXT file and we can see the size difference. So it's much smaller as it has been filtered out. What we want to do next is run this on Osmosis Cloud. So before running it on Osmosis Cloud, what we're going to need to download is the new Osmosis code. This is the same location where I downloaded the hands-on 8 with 8 time slices. The osmosis code is also located here and the link to this page is given in the description. So what I need to do is press on download. The code has been downloaded and now I'm going to run this on osmosis cloud. On how to use osmosis cloud, please follow the instructions on the video in the description. So that shows you how osmosis cloud works and how you can write models over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it over here. I'm going to click on new run and I'm going to call this HO8 underscore 8. So for the model file, I'm going to select the one that I just downloaded, Osmosis Cloud Code. For the data file, I'm going to select the one that we've just created using the new clicksand. So this one over here, and I'm going to press on open. For server type, I select large and I don't want to receive an email notification when the run has finished. Then I click on create run. Over here I click on start run and you see over here that a reference energy system also is drawn up so this is using the new code and the new functioning of Osmosis Cloud and that can be used to identify missing links in um, the reference energy system of the model. Now we see that the model has run successfully. In order to visualize the results, so we have two options on how this can be done. The first option is online. So for that, we click on this little graph over here. So over here, we see all the results from running the model displayed in this format. However, suppose you want to visualize your results offline. What we need to do in that case is download the results, but download the one on the left. So not the one that says CSV, the one on the left. And let's save this in the folder that we've been working in. The results will be downloaded in a zip format. So let's go and unzip this. And the file that we need is results.txt. Right, what we need to do now is use the converter that we had downloaded previously. 
So that's the one over here. We're going to need to input the file and that's the results.txt file that we have chosen. So what I'm going to do is go to that file, select results, press open, select the output directory as the same folder. As the output name, I will call this results underscore ho8 underscore 8. I will save the output file name and I will click on run. Conversion successfully run. The results have been generated. I can close the converter. And we see that there is an Excel file over here. So in order to visualize the results, we go back over here. So this is to visualize it offline. And we export templates. So we're going to export the templates into the folder that I have um, chosen. That's test. And the first thing that we do is we open up the results template. We enable content. Over here we see that there is a sheet called results data. What we need to do is by pressing Control shift right arrow, select all the columns from A to L for row 2 and then while still holding Control shift uh, Control then shift we press on bottom arrow and we select all the data and we delete this. Once this has been deleted, what we need to do is go back to the folder and the results that we, we generated using the converter, we open this file. Now what we need to do is again by pressing Control shift right arrow up to column L and pressing bottom arrow, we select all the data, we copy this and we paste it in the results template, just like that. We control S to save. Next, let's say we want to view annual electricity production. We come over here, we click on pivot table analyze and we click on refresh. Now we can see the results in an offline version and we can do this for all the other different results that we want to see. So this is how you use ClickClan 3.0 in order to run models on Osmosis Cloud and to visualize the results both online and offline. Thank you for watching.